Hey everybody, I am making myself a nice big long light bar using these little cheap fixtures and 75 watt LED bulbs. Got a whole pile of them and these are just little cheap fixtures but those bulbs don't get very hot so these are perfect. Um, they'll handle um, what 200 and 220 volts 60 watt incandescent so that means the equivalent of a 180 watt LED in heat temperature. So uh, what we have here is up in the top of my shop, I've just got a couple of really bright, hungry lights that keep my inverter challenged. Um, this is a huge mogul, 300 watt fluorescent CFL, and it loves power. It, it takes 103 watts to run it. So for what I'm going to do here, these being 10 watts a piece means that for five of these we get 50 watts of power usage per strip so i'm going to take and run across over the rafters and a little bit past the other side so you got four foot and four foot that's eight feet right there so we're going to have two feet over here and two feet over there with five lights on each one going across the top of the shop here at about 10 feet apart each one so even though those are only 75 watt bulbs they will cast a lot of light from down here where we're at people who have been watching my uh video on this trailer its roof is finished its roof singular bathroom roof vent is in and the plumbing vents are also in and it has been silver coated over any areas that screws with rubber gaskets have been used at. Um, very, very good solid connections. So we're just going to get the light fixtures mounted up here and I'm gonna show you how, that, how it's done here. Now, what we're doing is we're just taking apart the wires out of a 16 gauge cord. So we will just have a cheap 16 gauge cord. I'm gonna pull the black and the white out of it and then we're going to attach them here and go through this hole and drop them over the hole. Um, wires here will come out and down along one side of it, I'm gonna nail off 14 gauge wire on the side of it with a pigtail to plug into the original wiring up here. So when I turn the switch on, all this runs. And my total, uh, I'm going to go from a grand total of a uh, 232 watts down to 152 watts but actually end up with more light and changing out that big expensive thing is just no more i don't even think they even make them so there you go this is what we're working on and all the parts as usual down below the video in my upload date area info area i'll put where i get the things and i found a better deal for these on amazon those bulbs so i'll put that link too and where the uh light fixtures these little light light fixtures they are light duty but they're perfect for this where they are found at and you can buy them in boxes of 10 or more so that's what we're working with and i've got a whole bunch of them sitting over here sitting over here also so there you go all right let's get this started and i'll show you part of it as we go all right now you see as we're going here you're going to look for your center contact is your positive is going to be your black wire and your white wire or green wire if you choose to use those will be this outer one so just flipping it over because the chinese don't like to mark a lot of this stuff flipping it over you'll get to see there is your white wire and that's going to be your black wire so take a good look there and you'll see where it comes up through that screw there right there in the center all right all right guys up in top of my shop and the only light we have on is a ceiling fan um here's the lights permanently mounted now and there's three 12 foot rows up here inside my shop and I'm on top of the four trailer. We got uh, the trailer finally knocked out and we're gonna show you a picture of it outside here um, on another video, so be looking for that. Um, but we got everything wired up. We have a little bit of tuck away to do, but other than that, Daniel's gonna finish here. He has been, uh, he has been working on getting the uh, the power in it right now, and when we as soon as we get done with that, we're going to get you guys 
a look at what we're working with up here. So teach your 11 year old how to do good work, man. They'll always, they'll always make a living. So y'all watch for this. And these are 75 watt bulbs, 75 watt bulbs from Amazon. And I've had the best luck of all with the Amazon bulb. And I uh, had decent luck with the Walmart one, but here we go. And then look at my big, huge wall of Sansui. <laughs> Sansui crazy. All right, so guys, here we go. He's gonna finish that up right now. And as soon as he gets that wired, we are gonna kick the switch on and show y'all what it looks like. All right, guys, he's finishing up up there on the top. And we're gonna have Kira turn it on here in just a second. You got it? Yeah. All right, there we go. This is building your own light rack and all using 75 watt bulbs. So my consumption is 10 watts per bulb, 50 watts per string going this direction right here. And me and my kids have done decided we're tired of being blind in here. So this whole place is bright. Kira, turn it back off. Turn all the lights off. Top light, there you go. Now turn on that one light that's the main frame up here. There you go. So this one thing, 150 watts total output or total power usage doesn't affect my inverter so much and helps me see really good. All right, kick them all on. So that is the feature, 12 foot boards, five bulbs split between an equal distance. And now my shop is lit to the hilt even at night. All right, so you can see a burning skylight. It's definitely night. All right, guys, y'all enjoy. Build it yourself. These are dirt cheap, and you can get a 20 pack of the bulbs from Amazon or a 16 pack for about 25 bucks. All right, guys, y'all be good. <laughs>